Alrighty. Right, good morning everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to the channel. This morning, um, I wanted to discuss a few things because I went and did something. I, I, I pulled a naughty. At the moment, um, I have been filming probably for the last two-ish years. I've been filming all my videos on this camera right here. Let me show you. So this is the Panasonic Lumix G7. It's a pretty nice little camera. As you can see, I've got a, a Joby Gorillapod attached to it at the moment um, and a nice Rode uh, Video Mic Go. Um, it's not too bad, that microphone, but it is better than uh, the microphone that is inbuilt to this camera. Um, the good thing about this camera is it shoots 1080p at 60 frames per second, and we've got a nice little screen that's able to be folded out and switched over so you can see what you're doing, which is so helpful with, with everything. Um, this is a 14 to 42 millimeter lens. It is the kit lens, so um, the f-stop is not the greatest. I believe it's like f3.5 to 5.6 or something like that. Um, and it is a micro four thirds camera, so there is a, um, a crop obviously when um, you have your lenses. It's about uh, a double equivalent. So this 14 millimeter that I'm shooting at the moment is equivalent to about 28 millimeter on a full frame. Now, don't get me wrong. This camera is awesome and it does such a good job for 1080p at 60 frames per second. But the only problem I've been experiencing lately is I get a lot of shake in my video and it's really difficult to edit that out uh, in post-processing. And if I can, it takes a long time. Um, so I've been having a lot of struggles with, with the vibration. Um, also, this camera does not shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second. And the autofocusing is a little bit how you go, and it's not the greatest, um, <clears throat> as this is one of uh, Panasonic's kind of budget camera models. So, without further ado, I pulled a naughty the other week, uh, and I went down and I bought a camera second hand off someone um, because I can't afford it to buy a brand new because it's ridiculously expensive, but, I pulled the naughty and I bought the brand new Lumix G9. So this bad boy is basically the upgraded version of this G7. Um, this is a crazy good camera. I'm not gonna lie, I shouldn't have bought it, but I did this for you boys, I did this for you. It is 4K shooter at 60 frames per second. No worries at all, it does 10 bit video, which is great in post-processing as well. But the main thing I bought this for is it has a five axis inbuilt body stabilization. So that means we're getting some kind of uh, GoPro-like, uh, I guess, footage. It's not gonna be as crazy as GoPro because they've, I don't know how they've done their, um, their hyper smoothing. It's crazy. But this, it comes pretty damn close for a camera. Now Panasonic also have these uh, kit lenses, which I got for it. Uh, this is the 12 to 60 Panasonic uh, Lumix Leica lens. So this is the better kit lens. Um, the aperture is way better. So the f-stop on this Leica lens is an f2.8 to 4.0. And <clears throat> the good thing about Panasonic and their Lumix cameras is they've got this thing called power optical image stabilization. Hopefully that focuses there. Yeah, there we go power optical image stabilization. So with a flick of the switch, what happens is the lens also stabilizes with the body and they work in two. So it's like this dual image stabilization, which oh, has apparently beautiful video. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Uh, it's been about a week since we've last spoken about the new Lumix G9 that I purchased. So we are starting up the video again with, you guess it, the Lumix G9. As you can probably tell the difference in quality with the lens, we are now using a 12 to 60 millimeter Leica lens. Uh, so we're getting a little bit more of a wider angle, uh, not too much, uh, but the main difference is here, uh, we do have a different f-stop. So we've got uh, an f2.8 to 4.0. Now at the moment I am quite new to this camera, 
So at the moment I am using every single setting in automatic mode. So I haven't really ch touched or changed anything. Please don't flame me, I am yet to learn this. I promise it will be a little bit better. But look, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the pop-out screen and everything seems to be pretty nice. The colors are pretty spot on um, and it's, it's accurate. It's, it's following me around with this uh, five axis image stabilization and it's looking pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. So without further ado, I really wanted to continue on this vlog um, and I just realized that I actually haven't shown anybody around in our little apartment. Now, I kind of have a bit of news because we are actually moving out of this apartment in one week's time. So the next video you will see is going to be a big move out and move into our new place I am so excited for. Now let's just say you'll have to wait for the next video because it's going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, so at the moment, in the meantime, I wanted to just give you a little bit of a house tour, um, show you around with the Lumix G9 in its raw form in kind of a vloggy format um, and keep going with the video. So let's see how we go. So this is the front of our little apartment. As you can see, our little deck up there. So we'll walk around the side little single garage and the front door all right so the first thing you notice when you walk in the front is that we are actually basically in our garage we've got the WRX here of course um, it's only a one car garage um, unfortunately so Alicia's car does have to be delegated outside for now but you walk in we've got you know we've actually got a bit of sh everywhere right now because again like I said we're in the midst of moving so the garage is absolutely chock-a-block right now now even though this garage is quite small and we only can fit one car and it's quite quite packed we have been able to do quite a few videos in here so we are gonna slightly miss it but not really because uh, let's just say the next garage is going to be a lot better. So as we continue to walk forward, we've got uh, a little bit of a laundry in here. I'm not opening that up because it's going to be disgusting. And we've got the main bedroom in here. So double bed, of course. Uh, we're looking outside here and we've got our clothesline. So obviously here, this is the main bedroom. Don't look at all my clothes up there. I haven't put them away. But um, yeah, we've obviously got our cupboards here and um, nice little bed, etc. Um, come around to here and we've got uh, the ensuite of course so you know it's a it's a pretty small little ensuite um, unfortunately you know we don't have much bench space down there so a lot of my stuff is up here um, so it's a little bit unfortunate and it's been a little bit tough to work with uh, especially living with uh, with a woman they do have a lot of stuff I'll tell you that um, and then obviously we've got a little shower in there but just coming out here we will um, just come out the front here and we've basically got the, uh, the clothesline and then you look on to there is the road so not too interesting outside to be honest walking up the stairs how's this image stabilization doing I think it's doing pretty good got a nice little plant that we haven't killed yet which is awesome it's probably about the only plant that we haven't killed so that's that's a plus <laughs> um, so this is where we were before at the start of the video and obviously just before um, and this is basically the main living room so we've got the kitchen up here obviously um, it's actually not a bad size kitchen for how small the apartment is but um, with this space we've had to put both of our desks here um, Obviously, got my gaming desk here um, with the dual monitor setup, etc. And uh, by the way, if you didn't know, twitch.tv forward slash 00 lock. Click that. I do do a little bit of streaming, so welcome to come say good day over there. And um, also, Alicia has her desk. Um, and oh, look, there's our little camera, our previous G7. It's so light. I'll tell you what, it's so light and small. Uh, I will be selling that one pretty soon, so Alicia does all of her uni work there uh, and we can come out here and we've also got a cute little deck so 
We've got the Barbie over there. Hook up a few snags and um, yeah, we're looking on to the, basically the main road that goes through our little town. Um, unfortunately, it is quite loud living next to a main road, but um, look, it is what it is. It's been very close to the beach, this apartment, so you know, you lose some, you win some. We walk through here and this is where we've got our TV set up. This is basically our living room. Uh, that's a fake plant, so obviously we haven't killed that. But you know, we've got a nice little little setup here with a with a little uh, little couch here. So this is where we where we sit and basically watch the telly. Um, it's uh, it's small, but um, it's been doing the job, you know. And um, we also have behind us. Um, we've also got a little bathroom, just a little toilet um, that we've got in there. Um, and that also includes, we popped a, uh, a dryer in there as well because there isn't really too much space here to have a dryer. So that's where we've had to put it. But um, yeah, in saying that, that is literally our apartment tour. Um, it's a one bedroom and a study, uh, but the study really is just our TV room because uh, in the living room here, we can't fit a dining table in as we've got my big desk and obviously Alicia's desk too. So look, it's been a little bit difficult living here at times because of how small it is, but you know, next video, I'm telling you, next video, you gotta be here for it. We are gonna be moving out. Um, so yeah, that's a little house tour. Um, so we'll carry on with the rest of the day um, and I'll keep vlogging when uh, something interesting pops up. Yeah. Little WRX in front. Nice little video exhaust, I see you. Nice cold morning. We're gonna go get some morning tea. Some brekkie. No, some breakfast. Brunch. 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 Some brunch, brunch and a coffee. If you tell them what time it was, then you No, we won't tell them what the time is. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. No, nice little sleep in on a Saturday. So, yeah, we'll go get some coffee. Hey, hun. Good job with the park. Thanks. Very nice. Good reverse park. Beauty, mate. That is a nice boulder. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Nice boulder. All right. It is a beautiful afternoon. Pretty much just spent the uh, spent the whole day just kind of lounging about and not really doing too much. It's so nice to do when you're not at work, but boys, I gotta show you this absolute burner of an afternoon. I guess we can see how this camera does in the low light too, so come with me. That is actually so nice. Gorgeous afternoon. Oh, man. Yeah, I can see that this camera doesn't do as well in the low light, but as soon as you bring a little bit of light into it, it really kind of changes its, its kind of, its settings and it does well. I mean, considering this is on automatic mode still, um, I think this camera is actually really nice. Really nice. And um, it feels a bit more professional when like you're holding it compared to the G7, it's like nice and light. Whereas this is a lot heavier and you know, you, your arm kind of gets a little sore sometimes, but this is something I gotta get used to. Maybe stop being so weak. If you're really thinking about buying a G9, honestly, I, I really recommend it. It's such a nice camera. Um, just, just that image stabilization itself is just perfect, man. And like I've had no problems with the autofocus either. It's just awesome. Honestly, good camera. You definitely get what you pay for. Um, so I guess what's left for the night is um, probably just gonna make a bit of dinner. I'm on dinner duties.
it's definitely boost weather, that's for sure. 14 degrees outside, that's all right, hey. We can go for a cheeky little second pull, second gear pull all the way up to fourth, what do you reckon? so good when it's uh, when it's this cold you really hit the turbo uh, all right so yeah didn't end up cooking we just got Domino's pizzas but I'm gonna sit back um, watch a bit of drive to survive if you haven't watched Formula One drive to survive I do recommend it on the old new Flix um, awesome awesome series but yeah, finish it off there, finish off the video. So, hope you guys kind of liked the little little vlog that we did with this new G9. And uh, I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the camera. So yeah, honestly, a mint camera. But uh, that'll do it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content. So, we'll uh, see you next video. Thanks guys, peace. Ready to race to you. These days are